with you how to use ChatGPT with Google Drive integration to solve common headaches and save pile of time. To add Google Drive connector, you need to navigate to Settings, Connectors, Google Drive and click Connect. And now once connection is established, ChatGPT has access to all the files and folders on my Google Drive. And I can search, cite and summarize my files directly in chat without hunting through folders. Here's the typical problem you might face with Google Drive – finding a file without knowing the file name. Well, you have an idea, it's something related to GTM, but you're not sure about exact file name or folder. Obviously, you can search for it in Google Drive, just type GTM. But then you have to browse through all the files and folders to find what you're looking for. Here's where ChatGPT comes in. I'm going to use this prompt. Identify all Google Drive files related to GTM project. Summarize the content in the files with one summary sentence and five short bullets. In just few seconds, you got links to all available files, you got a combined one sentence summary, as well as five key takeaways. With this type of assistance, I can now jump from a fuzzy idea to the exact content in just a few seconds. Here's a typical challenge. Two similar docs with conflicting policies. <laughs> Nobody knows which one's current. On Google Drive, I have two docs, Pricing Model Narrative version 1 and Pricing Model Narrative version 2. And the solution is, ask ChatGPT to compare versions, identify differences and resolve version chaos. And here's my prompt for that. Compare version 1 and version 2 for price model narrative on Google Drive. List material differences by section. Note removed added items, then propose a merged outline. And with one line source of truth decision and rationale. And in seconds, you got a section by section comparison for overview, tiers, discount policy, billing terms and structural and tone changes. You also got additions in version 2, proposed merged outline as well as source of truth decision. My example was comparing two very simple documents. But with ChatGPT, you can do it for long or very long files. Isn't that impressive? Well, that's it for now. If you learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe to online training for everyone. Have a wonderful day.